What's going on guys back at it with another video this one in particular is on Obviously Fortnite and stuff. I've been getting a bunch of people ask me asking me You know for an actual tour of my locker even though I kind of gave a quick glimpse of it before I'm gonna be showing you an in-depth one here on this one So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it as you can see I got a bunch of stuff. So Should be an interesting one All right, so first things first, as you can see, my three, you know, 4th of July skins are my top favorite, and that's for obvious reasons. I am uh, a Mary Gamer, of course. My top used skin is being the Star Spangled Trooper. However, I do occasionally use the Star Spangled Ranger and the Fireworks Team Leader. But those are not that interesting uh, with, without, you know, being realistic here. They're not that interesting, but I like them a lot regardless, mainly because of the American colors. Another thing too, of course, I have been playing for quite a while, even though I took a few months off from the game. I just wasn't feeling it for the longest time. And then with season 10, I came back. So uh, as you can see here, I have the aim, which was a battle pass. I can't remember where all most of these came from, to be honest, which battle pass. So bear with me on that. I'm not very knowledgeable in the game, especially being away from the game for so long. So there's the aim, the battle hound. This was a very cool skin when it first came out and you hardly ever see it anymore to be honest at least not that i've noticed the calamity of course that was a battle pass skin and of course the season four maxed out carbide the catalyst which was another uh battle pass skin or is a battle pass skin or whatever one of those okay i'm not sure this is probably one of the ugliest skins that I own, if I'm completely honest. I know there's a lot of people out there that actually do like this skin. If I'm completely honest, the female carbide skin is not that great looking to me. Of course, the cuddle team leader. It wouldn't be a Fortnite locker room without the cuddle team leader. It's one of the faces of this game, so of course I ended up getting it. The Dire skin, I don't think it's maxed out to be honest, but uh, the cool thing is it's based off of experience so I can just play the game and it'll eventually upgrade itself. So it is a Battle Pass skin as well. Same thing with the Drift skin, which is maxed out and I think it's a pretty awesome looking skin if I'm completely honest. This was the, uh, the challenges thing or whatever for one of the Battle Passes which I think looks pretty awesome if I'm completely honest. A lot of people I know didn't like it when it first came out, but I know I think it looks awesome. The Frostbite I think was one of those, um, it was a part of the Deep Freeze bundle that you can get externally. I think they might have added it in the game as well, but I ended up buying it from like Walmart or something. I'm not entirely sure where I bought it from, but I ended up buying the whole you know the deep freeze set from there and of course now i have that the leviathan is a pretty cool and unique skin if i'm completely honest i think this is a freaking awesome skin uh just the way the fish kind of hangs in there is just a fish in the water basically in a spacesuit i think it's pretty awesome this i actually got it a long long time ago uh and along with what most people did of course i bought it mainly for the uh, the wings although the skin realistically really isn't that bad. I want to say I bought it When it first came out for for Valentine's Day So then there's the Lynx. The Lynx is another battle pass skin again I don't think she's maxed out, but I think she looks awesome anyways, especially the all maxed out in black. I think looks badass This one right here Magnus uh, I Think looks pretty cool. I know a lot of people didn't really like the Magnus skin I know I do and that's all that matters to me is that I do now this skin right here I thought was pretty freaking awesome and but if I'm completely honest I got it for the back bling because the back bling looks really cool with this one right here the Omega skin I think looks badass with the back bling back bling that came along with oblivion this is another skin that I think looks pretty awesome with all of his stuff like his cape and stuff and a lot of people don't really like but I think it looks really cool regardless so this one right here Ragnarok is maxed out and he is obviously a battle pass skin I think he looks freaking awesome and blue is my favorite color so that kind of makes 
it that much better. This is another one that another, the Raptor is another one of those skins that people just love to watch. Uh, just because it's so iconic to the series, of course. Maybe not as much as other skins like the Cuddle Team Leader, for example, but it's still pretty awesome regardless. This skin, for the okay, for the longest time, I was the biggest fan of this skin right here, the Raven. It was for the longest time was my favorite skin in the game. And the birdcage, which is the back bling that comes along with him, wasn't necessarily my favorite, but I did love the back bling that came along with her, which is the the bird wings or whatever. And oh my god, man, it looks just amazing. So of course I had to get her. The Red Knight, I did get it uh, when it came back to the store because I wasn't, I was playing at the time, uh, but I didn't get any of the battle, like I didn't get the battle pass in season one or two. I started playing season three and I think the whole knight situation, the whole like the black knight, the red knight and all that stuff came out in season three. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but uh, I ended up getting this, the red knight, when it came back the, for the first time in the item shop. In the uh, item shop. So yeah, there's that. The Rex, I think, is a really cool and unique skin. This is another one kind of like the Leviathan that I really love, only because it's so it's so goofy, it's unique, and I actually think it's a pretty awesome looking skin. So the Rose Team Leader, uh, I don't know if it changed after I left or anything, but the Rose Team Leader, along with another skin that I'll show you here in a second, uh, is one of the one of two skins that came along with buying the uh, Save the World before it came out i don't even know if the game is free for the public or anything like that or if it's even still available but when it was still like under development and all that stuff if you purchased the game eventually epic came out and gave you two free skins rose team leader being one of them i think she looks freaking awesome if i'm completely a little basic but she looks awesome this skin is another skin for the battle pass challenges that that you get or whatever for completing like eight weeks of you know challenges and i know a lot of people did not like the visitor but if i'm completely honest i thought the visitor was badass right from the beginning the second i saw him one of my friends told me that they unlocked the visitor and i looked at it and i was like dude that's freaking awesome even though it's contrary to what other people believe i personally think it's cool so try sarah ops I think she has one of the most awesome names in all of Fortnite. Mainly because they did a little play on words with the name Sarah and Tri Sarah Ops. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Nothing too special when it comes to the skin itself, but uh, I think it's another one kind of like the Rex skin. It's pretty unique and stuff in that regard, so I like it. Of course, the Ultima Knight, it's this season's Battle Pass skin. Uh, level you know tier 100 skin so I had to get it I think it looks freaking awesome and gold and in this configuration it's not maxed out nowhere near maxed out but you know what I think the ultimate ultimate lot excuse me I think the Ultima Knight looks pretty awesome to begin with so Valor of course being another iconic skin or big famous skin from I believe season 4 battle pass uh, she was pretty cool, the whole superhero theme, kind of like Wonder Woman and stuff, but this skin, I think it's pretty ugly if I'm completely honest, but I ended up buying it because I kind of wanted to complete the whole, you know, superhero theme skins, and I'm not even sure if I got them all, but, uh, the Vertex is one of them, so I, of course I decided to buy it, but I'm not really a huge fan of it. So along with this skin up here, the Rose Team Leader, this skin was the other skin that came for free if you had purchased the the uh, Save the World before, like when it was still, you know, bef before the actual game came out. I, again, and I don't know if the game is out regardless, but I think this skin is better than the Rose Team Leader, but the Rose Team Leader is pretty awesome. The wild card is, I think, one of the first, if not the first, that had selectable styles. Uh, it had like the like the heart, uh, the diamonds, of course, and a bunch of other stuff, like kind of like the cards and stuff. And I think it's pretty cool, but 
not my favorite. I just think it looks pretty awesome. Kind of like a play on the uh, the Reaper skin. So the Zenith, of course, is another Battle Pass skin. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's the level 1 or the level 100 or the tier 1 or tier 100 but the zenith is a battle pass skin and it's definitely not my favorite but it is what it is so going back to like season 4 I believe it was this skin of course was pretty awesome abstract I thought was pretty awesome uh, just as a whole in general and of course Blackhawk uh, I thought it was pretty epic as well kind of like the whole Thor everybody compared him to but and it did come out uh, when one of the You know the the movies came out where he got hurt and stuff like that, but I don't know. I think he's alright at best So the beef boss is one of the better looking skins in my opinion when it comes to the whole uniqueness and Goofiness that Fortnite likes to do like the Rex or the Triceratops for example the beef boss is pretty funny and it's pretty awesome, especially with his glider and his spatula and all that stuff. The blue striker is a PlayStation exclusive that I think it was the second PlayStation exclusive actually, but it's pretty cool, but nothing special or spectacular to, to brag about or anything like that. It's just all right. So the bright gunner, of course, the male version of the, uh, I don't even remember what her name is to be honest, but everybody loves her. I think it's like the bright I Can't remember but the female version of this everybody loves and Honestly, I, I'm not a huge fan of either to be honest, but it is what it is So the buddy brawler and of course the the male version which is down here the rabbit raider Both of those are I think pretty awesome skins. I, I like them a lot as a matter of fact and yes, I got them uh, a while ago as well. I'm not really sure when I got them, but they're pretty awesome regardless. Burnout was, I want to say a Battle Pass skin, although it's not that amazing looking. It's all right at best, but it's, it's, it's just all right, I guess. So DJ Yonder was another Battle Pass skin, and I know a lot of people like him. I personally don't like this version of the... Of the whole DJ Yonder series that they came out with but you know teach his own I didn't like it but of course if you like it go ahead and like it so the double helix was the exclusive skin that came out with uh, the Nintendo switch and I thought it was pretty awesome so awesome that I bought a Nintendo switch for it of course uh, but with that being said there's nothing spectacular about it it's just a reskin version of a oops it's just a reskin version of another skin that had previously came out, but it's all right. So Dusk is, of course, another Battle Pass skin. I think she looks freaking awesome. I like the whole dark theme to it, how she looks kind of like a bat and all that stuff, kind of like a like a vampire. And I don't know, I like dark themes within games and stuff. So this, I think, looks pretty epic to me. This is one of the skins that came out this season and it looks pretty freaking awesome this is one of my favorite skins that came out this season season 10 and i don't know i think it looks i think it looks awesome i don't know what to say about it it just looks sick so fable uh is another battle pass skin not my favorite i know a lot of people liked it for a while but it's not my favorite i just think it's all right so with the galaxy skin this is another one of those rare skins that a lot of people, a lot of people really want but couldn't get their hands on. I have to go through a bunch of hoops and hurdles just to get this Galaxy skin. I think it looks pretty awesome and I actually wore it for a while too. Uh, especially when the rarity was like super high. Of course I wanted to flex on people but even though I was pretty trash, I was then and I still am now, this skin still is pretty awesome. So the giddy up is... <laughs> it is such an ugly skin if I'm completely honest, but it's funny as hell And I know a lot of people like to use it just to be like trolly and Just to be dumb in the game and for that reason I think it fits the part just fine and Yep, there's that nothing special to him though So gumshoe is one of the three skins that came out in I believe like season five 
and I thought they were pretty awesome. Uh, they're like the whole noir, like uh, like detective type stuff. And I think all three of them look sick. This one is probably my least favorite of the three, but this one is still pretty awesome nonetheless. So Heidi, I think, is a kind of interesting skin, I'll say that. It's not ugly, but it's not cool either. It's just kind of there. Uh, she does have a cute face going to her, but nothing, nothing spectacular. She's just kind of there. So the Highland Warrior is the female version of the Battle Hound that I showed you earlier, but I think this is the inferior version for obvious reasons. It's just not as unique as the Battle Hound. So the Huntress is another... Is it a Battle Pass skin? I can't remember if it's a Battle Pass skin, but I think it might be a Battle Pass skin. It's pretty cool. I like it, but it's nothing to write home about. This, the Ludwig, is the male version of the Heidi and again same concept it's not ugly it's not cool either it's just kind of there to go along with the it's just kind of there here's the Maverick nothing special just a dude with a jacket and a sweater under like a hoodie and some pants nothing spectacular this skin right here the nightshade is freaking ugly so another one of the detective skins is the noir and this one looks freaking awesome. My favorite, though, is the yellow one that I'll show you in a bit. Powder. I want to say Powder was a Battle Pass skin. She's pretty cool. Like, I love her eyes. She looks pretty, pretty cool. Uh, and, yeah, there, there, well, there's that. And, of course, the Rabbit Raider. So, the Rabbit Scallion is a freaking awesome skin. I, I like this one and the male counterpart just as, like, equally. It came out a while ago, I want to say in like season 3 or season 4 or something like that. And I loved it ever since then. Didn't use it very heavily though, but I do like them nonetheless. Redline of course is the female version of the one that I showed you earlier. Nothing spectacular. So the Rogue Agent came out as a starter pack many, many months ago. And I liked it then and I still kind of like it now. Um... I think it came back to the battle pass or excuse me it came back to the game one point and of course I already had it so there's that so the rook is kind of like an agent type thing not necessarily like a detective but kind of like a FBI agent kind of and I think it's pretty cool so the Royal Bomber was my favorite skin for a while. I think it looks awesome. It's still a freaking awesome skin. It was a PlayStation exclusive that you could only buy if you bought a console. But then they came out with a controller version, which is how I bought mine. And once I got it, man, it was probably one of my favorite skins for a long time. Mainly because he's blue, but he looks badass nonetheless. So the Scoundrel, again, to go with the Rapscallion, it's... It's freaking awesome. There's nothing spectacular to them. Just they just look awesome. So Sergeant Winter is a Battle Pass skin, and it's kind of like a Santa Claus type thing. It came out this last December or this last winter, and nothing spectacular to him. He's just pretty cool. So the Shadow Ops is pretty cool. Nothing to write home about. There's selectable styles, but I don't think it had selectable styles for the longest time. And yeah, I guess that's it's cool. I, I like these version these skins So this skin was a battle pass skin and I was very excited when it came out because Everybody and their mom literally like wrote me oops Talking about how much I look like this dude because I wear my glasses. I wear my hats backwards like that I do have a beard and all that good stuff and I am probably military as well So this kind of everybody kind of just threw this in my face like hey look they added you in, this, in the game so the Sleuth is my favorite detective noir skins. Uh, I It kind of reminds me of Dick Tracy. Uh, if you know what that is, that's awesome. But it's probably the reason why I like it so much. But this is my favorite, you know, detective skins. Then you have the Sparkle Supreme, which is, of course, a Battle Pass skin for Season 10. It's pretty cool. The Squad Leader is another Battle Pass skin from Season 4. Season 4 was when I did my most grinding and my most work and stuff. So, of course, Squad Leader, eh, it's alright. The Summit Striker, if I'm not mistaken, was a Starter Pack skin. 
but I could be mistaken. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it looks pretty cool nonetheless, but yeah. The Sunstrider definitely was a Battle Pass skin, and everybody always looked forward to getting this because it says Rescue on the top, so everybody played as a medic with this skin, and I think, it, <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I used it as a medic for a while, too. So Technique, she's a badass. There's nothing more to say about her. I love her to death. She's freaking sick. So the Ace is another starter pack skin, uh, I want to say, and of course it's the female version of the Ace, or of the whatever it's called. The But it looks pretty cool nonetheless. So Tilted Technique also looks badass. Maybe not as the regular, not as much as the regular Technique. I like the regular Technique a lot more. But Tilted Technique does look pretty cool, and of course it's a Battle Pass skin from Season 10. So Tomato Head, the regular and this version, I think <laughs> are pretty goofy and silly. I like the, the Beef Boss a little bit better, but that's not to say anything bad about Tomato Head because Tomato Head is pretty awesome regardless. This is a skin that a lot of people don't like, and I think it's very underrated. I think the Toxic Trooper is pretty awesome all the way around. I think it looks pretty cool. So the Trailblazer is a skin that you get if you had the um, Twitch Prime at the time when this was available. And I love it. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Ventura, again, as I said earlier, this is a battle. Uh, is not a battle pass. A, along with Season 4 of the superhero skins, I think she looks freaking awesome. But of course, I think he looks a lot better, Venturion. Uh, and they look both equally as badass with their, you know, with their uh, capes and everything. So the Wingman, I want to say it was a starter pack skin, but I can't remember. Either way, the Wingman, I think, was pretty cool. This was, like, the best way to show that, show everybody you were pretty much a noob. I.e. me. X-Lord is, like, everyone's go-to skin this season for some reason. I feel like everyone's wearing this skin. But that's not for bad reasons because the X-Lord does look pretty badass and it kind of goes along with the Rust Lord that came out in season like two I think it was or season three one of those two either way it looks pretty awesome So either e Even though I said DJ yonder from the pre from the that came out in a previous season wasn't my favorite and I didn't really like it this version. I think is awesome Just yonder in general. I think looks awesome and I think this is the best way that Epic could have improved the Yonder skin, the DJ Yonder skin, but I think they should have just made the Yonder skin or the DJ Yonder to have selectable styles and just have this guy just thrown under that. Everybody knows Zoe. So I'll just leave it at that. Absolute Zero is a freaking awesome skin, along with Arctic Assassin, and their entire set combined makes them look freaking epic, and I like them a lot. A lot. So, okay, so the Bright Bomber. For some reason, I couldn't remember her name earlier, uh, but she's the female version of the the other skin that I showed you earlier, which now I forgot his skin name, but the Bright Bomber everybody loves for some reason. And it, I mean, it's not a bad skin, but it's just not my favorite. This skin is freaking ugly. This skin is freaking awesome. This is one of my favorites for a while as well. I liked it a lot. So this version of the Dark Bomber, or of the Bright Bomber, is cool, but I got it only because it was different. But again, going along with what I said with the Yonder skin, I think they should have just made this a selectable style. So Dazzle. Dazzle's kind of ugly. Desperado. It's alright. So Diecast I think looks pretty cool. Chromium is absolutely trash. Diecast is alright. I think she looks cool, Fortune, whatever her name is. I think she looks pretty cool, but of course, very plain. Jump shot, eh, not so cool. LeBron James skin, but it's, it's all right. Midnight Ops, another all right skin. Nothing special, but it looks cool. Moniker, another plain Jane skin. This skin, I got it mainly because I was in the army, and this is very reminiscent to the army, so I got it, of course. Prodigy, boring, kind of nerdy, but yeah. Recon Specialist, I think it's alright. This, the Sash Sergeant, I think looks pretty awesome, if I'm completely honest. Kind of like a Boy Scout type stuff. But it's alright, nothing, nothing 
to, you know, make a big deal about. Special Forces came out many, many, many months ago, and I liked it ever since, but a lot of people don't like it. It's nothing crazy, but it's alright. Survival Specialist, on the other hand, this skin is freaking awesome. Plain Jane, but still amazing regardless. I think this is how you do a good plain skin. This is, looks really good. This skin, triple threat, eh, it's alright. Armadillo, got it for obvious reasons, military. Uh, Salt Trooper, eh, it's alright, plain Jane. This skin, plain. This skin, this skin, Devastator, is really ugly. So the High Rise Assault Trooper I used for a while only because when I was in the military I used, uh, uh, it was my second, you know, upgraded uniform that I used in the military and of course we used multi-cam and that was alright. I think it looks cool. Jungle Scout I think looks awesome if I'm completely honest. I think this is a great way to do an uncommon skin and I like it a lot. So Light Show and night light are both completely terrible trash skins if i'm completely honest they're really really ugly scarlet defender it's all right scorpion again obvious reasons military looks like like some special ops type stuff and that's why i got it uh tower recon specialist uh boring trooper boring and of course a lot of people like this ninja wore it for a long time I'm not a huge fan of it. I just think it looks all right. So to come over here, of course, the only thing I have favorited is the um, the fireworks backpack because, of course, America. And of course, all of these back blinks, I'm just gonna kind of glide over, only because they're not as interesting as this, the actual skins themselves. A lot of these are battle pack skins or came along with skins that I bought in the past. But again, nothing spectacular. Same thing with the harvesting tools. Uh, nothing spectacular. I do wish I had a pickaxe that was like 4th of July themed, but I don't. I didn't buy anything new that came out this year, so there's that. Just to glide over everything I have. And yep and of course my gliders a lot of these are you know victory umbrellas and of course here's all my gliders nothing spectacular they're just kind of there and of course my contrails And here goes, of course you can't really see these, but these, so you can't really see this, but of course these are my, my emotes. Again, I don't really understand the whole concept of the paint jobs, but it is what it is. This is what you got for playing in the first year's events of of the birthday or whatever of Fortnite, of course i got the back the uh the birthday cake backpack and the harvesting tool as well for the year or two nothing spectacular and i think i'm just gonna leave it there this is just obviously my wraps again i didn't buy the fourth of july wrap i thought it was freaking awesome so i'm kind of looking all the time to see if it's in the shop so if it comes back, guys, definitely let me know. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.